Hey, welcome to LEAD. Today I want to talk to you about OPD, Other People's Drama. At times, it seems like we all have the tendency to be drawn into that and to catch it if it's contagious. I was listening to them describe the latest oil spill off the California coast, and they were talking about birds, birds that when they get oil on their feathers, it removes the barrier and because birds, at least the birds they're talking about, I don't know if it's all birds, I'm not a uh, avi, avi, uh, aviary, avian. I don't know much about birds. Here's what, I, here's what I heard, 106 degree body temperature. And what happens is when the feathers get oil on them, the water then can get to the skin and can cause them to be uh, cold, something from the, something that's toxic that gets in their life, that gets on them, exposes them, and the cause of that, they can experience uh, pain, death from what's happening. When you're doing ministry, when you're leading in, in church ministry, um, you're going to, because you care for people, because we want to minister to people. And I say this many times, Matthew 22, um, some of the attributes and characteristics that people who serve need to have is Jesus said, first commandment, first and great is love God with your entire being. Second, like unto it, love people as yourself. And so when that happens, when you love people, um, you get in their world. Um, what you don't want to happen is for whatever their, their drama, uh, their uh, toxicity to impact your life so that it exposes you in a way that you could um, suffer from that encounter. I love what it says in Galatians 5, 15 and 16. It says this, however, if you continually bite and devour one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. But I say live by the Spirit and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. And so when we're around people, we don't want to be devoured and we don't want what they are dealing with uh, to deal, to become a negativity in our life. And so um, thinking that through and thinking about how that works, I think it's important for you to understand that drama, whether it's in their life or your life, it just doesn't walk into your life out of nowhere. Drama has either been created by you or someone else. Uh, drama is uh, many times it, it's got to be invited in to our life. Or, and this is the thing, we associate with people who bring it. And because you're going to minister to all kinds of people, I, I mean, I've been there in my life. I've been there. Uh, I did the wedding that was uh, the wedding from Hades, if you will, where nobody wanted to get along. I remember I did a wedding. I was called to do a wedding for a, for a guy, a pastor that I knew. And he said, hey, my, my, the, the, I don't I can't remember now, the, the family, in-law, some of them are going to come. we got police that are going to be here, but just letting you know. Been to funerals where okay, so-and-so shows up, can you make sure he doesn't enter the building? Just drama, drama, drama. In the course of ministering to people, their drama can impact you. And I think lifting up your head, putting up the, the boundaries that you need, walking, not by the desires of the flesh, but by the desires of the Spirit. God, how do you want me to walk through this? Uh, it's so important so that I don't invite that drama. I don't so when I associate with people that have a lot of drama, that I don't let that become uh, toxic for my life. I love what Mother Teresa uh, said. She said, "People are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind." People may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyway. What you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight. Create anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous, be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the best you have 
and it will never be enough. Give your best anyway. In the final analysis, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway, Mother Teresa. And I think so many times, that's where we gotta land. Don't get cynical, don't get skeptical, don't get in a place where you won't help people. Help people, put up the boundaries, be led by the Spirit, not by your flesh. When your flesh says, well, that's, that's reason enough for me to be angry, push on through. Some people create their own storms and then get mad when it rains. Don't be that person. Do ministry, lift up your head, lead, be the leader God's called you to be. Let's make a difference, let's make a difference together. Let's lead.